In this video, you will learn how to quickly create a project. There are several ways to create a project. Click File, Project, then you can create a new project. You can also create a schematic, PCB, component symbol, footprint, 3D model, spice symbol, schematic module, and PCB module here. Now we create a new project. Type your project title here and choose an owner. The default owner is yourself, but you can also choose to belong to a team. If you don't have a team, you can click here to create one. We can also create a new project in the quick start menu. Let's create a demo project here. The project title is LED. Add a project description if you need. Click Save to create. The path length must be between 4 to 128 characters, so we need to modify the title. This is the schematic design interface. Hold down the right mouse button to drag. Slide the mouse wheel to zoom. Click File, Save to add your schematic to the project. Let's place the component in the schematic. Click EE Lib. Here we will place a resistor. Use the pull down menu to choose a different footprint. Left click to place and right click to cancel. Then we place a red LED. Left click to select and left click again to place. Right click cancel. Next, we will place a power supply. Select different battery holder here. Rotate by space. Right click to cancel and slide the mouse wheel to zoom in. Click and drag to move the component. Now we begin to connect these components. There are several ways to wire. The first way is click the wire button in the wiring tools panel. The second way is to put two components, pins together, then drag the component. The third way is to press the shortcut key W. Then we place a net flag in our schematic. VCC and GND. The default schematic sheet size is A4. Box select all the components and move to the upper left corner. Select the sheet and you can edit the size on the sheet attributes panel. select and move them to the center. Ctrl A to select all and move to the origin of the coordinates. Double click to edit the title of the sheet. Ctrl S to save change. Next, we can convert our schematic to PCB. If you have already generated a PCB, after modifying the schematic, you can click Update PCB. In my case, we should click Convert to PCB. A setting panel will pop up when PCB is first time generated. We can address the board outline here. Here we choose a round shape, select the coordinate origin as the center of the circle. This is the radius. Click Apply. So this is the outline of the board. Ctrl S to add PCB to the project. Box select these components and move them to the outline. Click and drag to move the components. Tap the spacebar to rotate. Align the components. Next, connect the component with copper wire. 
Same as wiring in the schematic, click here to wire. Now we are wiring on the top layer. Press Tab key to edit width. Box select and move them to the center. We can place text on the silk layer. Click the text button in the PCB Tools panel and place. Select the text you just placed. Change its layer attributes to the top silk layer. Double click the text to modify the content. Ctrl S to save. Let's preview the PCB. Click the 3D view button here. And here we go. Change the ball color here. Green, white, red, black. Hold down the left button and drag to look around. A simple PCB project is complete. In the next video, we will show the use of EZEDA in detail. Goodbye.